What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville back with another video. Today is a chat with me. It's a new year. Excuse my voice. I'm raspy. Don't know what's going on still. But it's a new year. It's a new start. There's a lot of people out there that are going to be wanting to be better. Just be a better you this year. Health wise, mentally healthy, physically healthy. Just be a better you. There's nothing wrong with being our best us. So, that being said, my name is Joy Neville. Welcome to my channel. I've lost 141 pounds. I've kept it off in February 14th. It'll be four years I've kept it off, and I'm still continuing my journey. I have a little bit of weight to lose left. I want to tone up. I want to mentally keep working on my food addiction and physically keep working on my energy levels and my exercise and stuff like that so I have goals too every year and so I know a lot of you are coming to my channel new with goals and I know a lot of my old um, subscribers that watch me faithfully my healthy sisterhood they also have goals that they're working on. Some of them have fell off and want to get back on with the new year. And some of you are just keeping on going, keeping on chucking along. And with all that being said, I'm just here to help. And I just wanted to chat with you guys and let you know how I did it, why I did it, how I keep on going, and the struggles of it. Because it's, it's not easy, but it's not hard, if that makes any sense. Let me bring you on in. So, first and foremost, if you like what I stand for and you just want to be a better you this year and you want to work on yourself and you want a positive channel to watch, hit that subscribe button so you get notified. I upload three times a week. I'm new to YouTube. Um, I do drawings every 300 subscribers. I will do a drawing right here on camera. I'll pull names out of a bowl. The only way I get your name is if you leave a comment to me. The more you comment, the more I see your name. I memorize it. I write it down and put it in the bowl. Get to know you at the same time with nothing's wrong with that. And then I'll do a drawing. Um, currently, I believe we're like one away from 300. So yeah, I'll be doing a drawing any day, so that's exciting. So leave a comment below if you wanna be entered in that drawing. It's not affiliated with YouTube or anything else. It's just me personally. YouTube has nothing to do with this, no ties, no affiliations. It's just me, I buy gift cards, I mail them to you. I pick two every 300 subscribers. It's just to get my name out there and to thank you guys also for supporting me. I really appreciate you guys and all that you do and all the kind words you guys share. So let's get into the video. Got my new water bottle that my friend Cindy got me for Christmas still. I love it. So drink your water first and foremost. The water drinking's a big deal to me and I want to say that. I want to stress that. Water, if you don't like it, flavor it. Put berries in it, put lemon in it, put lime in it, put crystal light in it. Whatever you have to do to get it down, drink your water. One, it's good for your skin and your hair and your body. Our body's made of water. It needs water. Two, it fills you up. The key to weight loss is not being hungry. You gotta start working on your mental health and if you're always hungry in your head, you're gonna be hungry and you're gonna overeat. So use the water to fill your body up. That way you're not as hungry. And when you're dehydrated, from what I've heard, I'm not a doctor, I'm just a person that's lost weight over the last four years. When you're dehydrated, you're more hungrier. And so if you drink the water and keep your body hydrated, you won't think you're as hungry as you usually are. So water, first and foremost. And I drink a gallon a day. I did not start out that way. So let's talk about that. I have a video up a long, long time ago. It's called How I Lost 132 Pounds um, seven months ago or six months ago when I started this channel, I think the end of May, um, I put that up. You could go watch that if you want, but this is a new refreshed version of that um, telling you what I did in a um, short, shorter um, storyline. So basically, February 14th, I got a picture on my phone from a friend of mine. It was me and my husband. I am married 17 years happily. 
I love him. In August, it'll be 18 years. He's good to me. He supports me. He loved me at my worst, mentally and physically, and he's loving me at my best right now. And according to him, I was never at my worst, which is awesome. So he's a good supporter. I recommend every man and woman out there find someone to support you, whether it's a human or an animal. Find that support for you that you lean on, you know, that comforts you besides food. So, that being said, I got a picture on my phone, I opened it, I looked at it, and it was a picture of me. It was a picture of me and my husband. She was just being nice, like, look, I took a picture, happy Valentine's Day, have a good time on your Ocean Shores trip. When I opened it and looked at it, I started crying. I don't know why, but I didn't recognize me. And I know that sounds weird to say that you don't recognize yourself, but in my head, I knew I was fat. I didn't know I was obese. I always was that girl that was like, uh, I'll go on a diet if I ever look like her. I'll go on a diet if I ever get that fat, babe. Babe, you would tell me if I ever got that fat, wouldn't you? I would get healthy then. Babe, you don't think I'm that size, do you? And of course, my husband's not going to tell me that I'm fat or that I'm somebody's size. Of course he's not. I was that girl. I was that girl that didn't realize how big she was. I knew I was big, obviously I was very insecure, but not totally all the way like, oh, I'm obese, I need to do something about it. I wasn't there. I always thought that I wasn't as big as I was. Until I saw that picture, for some reason it triggered something. Because I've seen other pictures of me. I didn't take a lot, but I have seen them. And um, if you'd like to see what I look like before, I have before and after pictures. Just go to the title of the video, before and after pictures. Um, and you can see what I look like before and what I look like now in, in the middle. <clears throat> but I was pushing 300 pounds. I'm only five foot tall, guys. So 300 pounds for me at five foot tall, I look like a little scrunched accordion. I had no thighs, I had no belly, I was just round like an apple. Um, nothing is wrong with being overweight, I want to say that first and foremost. But everything is wrong with being obese because I was not healthy. I was not healthy. I truly don't believe you can be healthy and be obese. I believe you can be healthy and be overweight. I just don't believe you can be healthy and be obese. That's just my personal opinion. I had sore knees. You know, yeah, I could walk. Yeah, I could do things, but I got winded easily. If you pointed at a hill at the top that we had to go to, like, for instance, we had to go to the monster truck show, and I'll never forget this. I couldn't make it up the hill. I was breathing. I was out of breath. I had to rest. I was mad at my husband for walking too fast. I was mad at my friends and family. It was embarrassing, and I was mad at them, even though it was me. I should have been mad at. I should have realized and started working on myself, and that didn't even stop me. I couldn't breathe to walk up hills, but that didn't stop me. I couldn't breathe. I always looked for the closest parking space because I couldn't breathe that far or to... I couldn't breathe that well when I had to walk far distance, put it that way. I would analyze, you know, stairs and look for elevators because I didn't want to take the stairs. I would analyze, you know, going on activities, riding quads. I stopped riding them. I grew up riding quads and my guys all ride quads and dirt bikes. I stopped riding them because I got big and it wasn't fun anymore. I would analyze my weight and would it hurt me? Would I fall off? Is it going to be harder to ride? I would analyze, um, sorry, I don't know why I'm getting emotional. I would analyze activities like camping. Do I want to sleep outside? Is it going to hurt my back? Am I going to be embarrassed if they try to do activities? Do I want to be in a swimsuit around people? I'm fat. I would analyze all this and make everything a bad day. I made everything a bad day because I was always analyzing and anticipating the worst in my head for everything, which made my family's lives hard because I was fat and obese and unhealthy. It made their lives hard. So I stopped making their lives hard and said, you know what? 
if I'm not going to do anything about my health, I'm not going to make them unhappy. So I started letting them go by themselves. And they started going quadding and camping and dirt biking and fishing and hiking and doing all this stuff by themselves because I knew I didn't want to make them miserable and be grouchy the whole time because I couldn't do it or I would make it a bad day. Just going to a trip to the river, I'll never forget. I had the biggest fight in front of my sons with my husband just going to a summer trip to the river. We were walking down a trail and I was out of breath and my foot got stuck in a little bit of mud and then I started analyzing it and it was such a horrible hike to the river and such a hard trip and why would they drag me here? And I started getting angrier and angrier and it really wasn't at them, it was at myself. But I was taking it out on them like, you should know better not to take me here. And we got to the river and we had to jump into the water. It was only like a foot down a little mud cliff into the river. And then we were there, home free. I saw that little foot cliff, like just a foot. And I knew I couldn't do it without falling in the water or embarrassing myself because I was obese. And I gave up and I got mad and I left them and I went home. And I fought with my husband and it was just a horrible day. And those kind of things are examples of my obesity and how it got in the way of my life. It stopped me from doing things I always wanted to do. You know, like obese, I would, I would just not do stuff. I would just would not do stuff because I didn't want to be embarrassed of the way I looked or embarrassed of trying to do something in case I hurt myself or, you know, fell or, you know, just couldn't do it physically and was out of breath. So I just stopped living my life. And when I saw that picture that day, something clicked in my head, you guys, and I am not kidding. I went home and started YouTubing how to lose 100 pounds, how to lose weight, how to lose weight and stay on track the rest of your life, how to make weight loss a lifetime journey. I didn't want to diet. I wanted to change my lifestyle. I wanted to get healthy. Sorry, I'm so emotional talking about my past. So anyways, that's what I did. I went home, I YouTube tons of videos, I Googled tons of stuff, and not diets, journeys, lifestyles, life changes. I wanted to do this for the long haul. And the first thing I did was start out on like a keto type of thing. Well, actually the first thing I did, the first week I just started drinking more water because I read that water fills you up Water cleans out your system and to start training yourself to drink water. No more soda, no more juice, no more none of that. Water. Once I did that, I would flavor it with like, at first, Crystal Light or the Kool-Aid packets. Not real Kool-Aid with sugar, but the little sugar-free packets. Jolly Rancher, all those. And then I went to just water with lemon. And I've been on water with lemon ever since. But um, that was the first like week or two. And I started doing... Uh, keto. I didn't know it was keto, but I just said, you know what? I know for me, my weakness was pastas, rices, white breads, cereals. That was my weakness. I would eat that stuff all day long. And so I knew I just had to get rid of it for a while, not forever, but for a while. So for me, I got rid of it and I started just eating lean proteins, you know, eggs, chicken, fish, hamburger, steak, pork, and then lots of veggies and fruit. So I guess I wasn't all the way keto. I guess I was what you could call a lazy keto. But that's how I kind of started. Meats, veggies, and fruits. And that's what I ate. And I ate at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If it was breakfast, I had like eggs and maybe two pieces of bacon and a cup of fruit. And I would measure everything out. I always measured from day one I had measuring cups. I didn't know about Wayne. I didn't know about my fitness pal, but I had measuring cups. For lunch, I'd have like, you know, um, a lettuce wrap with chopped up steak in it or chopped up chicken in it or lunch meat and cheese in it and I'd wrap it in lettuce. And then I would have fruit and veggies with ranch. And I just slowly made those changes. And dinner, I would have like chicken and I would have Alfredo sauce on it and I would have veggies and I would have some more fruit. And I just kept eating like that. And I, in like a week, I remember for 
I'll never forget this. The first time I got on the scale, it took a week or two for me to get on the scale. But when I got on the scale, um, I had a weight in my head from my doctor's office and it was two, 280 something. I can't remember exactly. But I remember getting on that scale and I was like 10 pounds down and I was ecstatic. I couldn't believe it. So then that made me want to go another week. Then I started weighing weekly. Every Friday was my weekly weigh-in. And then every Saturday I would give myself a cheat day where I would just eat what I wanted to in moderation all day for Saturday. So if I wanted that slice of cake or I wanted that ice cream cone from McDonald's or I wanted that um, Big Mac from McDonald's or whatever I was craving, I would allow myself to have it. Just one throughout the day, different things, but one of something. If I wanted that bag of 99 cent chips, I would have it. But it was only for Saturday and I did that for a whole year. Saturday was my treat day or Sunday depending but it was my treat day I had one treat day a week and I still lost weight and in one year on February 14th I lost a hundred to 101 pounds somewhere in there I made it I made it to my goal that was my goal to be honest my first goal because I didn't even think I would lose a hundred pounds was 20 pounds that was my first goal guys because I didn't have faith in myself I had dieted so many times I didn't think I would lose the weight so when I lost 10 pounds that first time then eight more and then 10 I just kept going and going and then it did get lower it started going a few pounds a week and then it would go like one or two pounds a week so it does slow down but I was on fire and nothing could stop me I realized you could do this after that hundred pounds it started to get a little bit sticky for me I will say after the 100 pounds, I knew I was in for the long haul, one. I remember crying and weighing myself, and I was so excited. My husband was so happy for me. I lost 100 freaking pounds. I never thought that would be me. I was the girl that watched the YouTube videos of people losing weight, going, man, I wish I could just lose 5, 10, 20, 30 pounds, 50 pounds. Man, I wish I could do that. That was me. I didn't think I could do it. And when I did it, and I was watching them, and I had surpassed the people I was watching, or I was right along with them doing it, I was amazed. I was amazed. And I thought, well, I can do this the rest of my life. I can do this. And once I got that 100 pounds off, I went out and got a whole new wardrobe. Whole new wardrobe. I gave away all my clothes to the women's shelter for domestic violence and I also gave a few to my family members and then I got a whole new wardrobe that made me feel better about myself that made me realize what size I really was which caused more tears and it made me never want to go back to those old clothes there was not well there was two pieces of clothing I did keep of my old clothes two of my favorite items there's a video of me trying one of those favorite items back on a pair of shorts in a video if you want um, to watch it. It's, I think I named it trying on my old clothes for the first time. I was bawling, it was, it was intense. But yeah, I kept two items and the rest I got rid of because if you keep your old clothes, you're telling yourself, I'm gonna fail and end up back in these old clothes. You should never keep your old clothes, that's my advice. You just shouldn't. Always size to your size and get rid of those bigger clothes. Because what are you going to do when your jeans get tight? You're going to have to lose that weight and get back in them, girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> so that's my first advice. Anyways, after I lost that 100 pounds, it was super intense. Um, I had to work a little bit harder. Things started to get harder. I started to lose like three pounds a week, two pounds a week. And um, I hit a plateau for two months where I didn't lose anything. And that was mentally hard on me. I didn't realize what I was doing, so you know what I did? I just started eating more. I upped my calories a few hundred calories. Oh, by the way, I started using my fitness pal. A few months into my journey, I'd say like six months, I can't remember exactly, I started using my fitness pal app to log my calories um, to help me make sure I was eating what I was supposed to. That was recommended to me. 
and um, that helps a lot. I depend on that. It helps me so much stay on track and just hold myself accountable. And I will say, even four years in, it does get easier, but you still have to hold yourself accountable. So does it get easier? Yes. After that year, it does get easier. But can you fall off track very easily? Yes. You have to hold yourself accountable and tell yourself, I didn't lose all this weight to go back all the way the other way to my unhealthy self. You have to. You have to want your health more than you want the food. You just, you gotta tell yourself that. And I tell myself that daily. And I do fall off track, you guys. Long story short, I started working harder. I started exercising a little at a time, a few times a week. I've never exercised more than a few times a week. I lost my first 100 pounds by what I put in my mouth. I'm gonna say that again. I lost my first 100 pounds strictly by what I was eating. So portion your food. It's all about the amount you put in your mouth. It doesn't matter what you choose to eat. It's how much you choose to eat. <coughs> exercise is great though. I started incorporating exercise. It is great. It's a great tool. Um, it made me feel better, but I didn't do it intensely enough to lose weight on it. I just did it to make me feel better and start toning my body. Now, this is my goal this year, is to exercise more, to tone my body, lose more weight, and get more energy. So that's my goal this year. There's no reason why I can't. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Once that 100 pounds came off, there was no looking back. Have I fallen off? Yes. The longest was a couple months. And I don't go out and binge eat gallons of ice cream and Big Macs. No. It's more like overeating on my healthier foods that I choose to eat. And then every now and then taking extra snacks or reaching in the candy jar or something. That's what I mean when I say I fall off. I just stop measuring my food and I stop tracking my food on my fitness pal. So if Joy Neville is not on my fitness pal for more than a few days, she's falling off. She's slipping. And hit me up and hold me accountable. <laughs> but nine times out of ten, guys, I realize it myself when my jeans start getting tight and the scale starts going up a few pounds and I put myself back on track. The hardest time of the year for me is always this time between Halloween and Christmas. Because there's so many good treats and happy holidays and parties and you just want to eat. So this is the best time to get back on track. I'm not saying always use a New Year's resolution to say you're going to lose weight. You should be able to do it whenever you want to. But it is a good goal. And it's never too late to make a goal and try to lose some weight. Or even just to try to move more and eat less. And if weight loss comes along with that, so be it. It's not about being skinny. It's about being healthy. And no matter what I tell myself, I know I was beautiful, but I was not healthy. I was not healthy, and my mindset was not healthy. I was a very depressed, dissatisfied person when I was obese. And I'm a much happier person now. And I think I'm a happier person to be around, too, to be honest. Um... And I think a lot of women don't realize that. They think it's everybody else. Everybody else is crazy. It's everybody else's problem, you know? And it's like, no, it's you. You gotta work on you, mentally and physically. Don't let the shape of your body stop you from living your life, period. And if the shape of your body is stopping you from living your life, then what does that tell you? You got to do something about it. Because you want to be happy. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be your best you. You deserve to look your best. You deserve to feel your best. Don't punish yourself. Because you're just punishing yourself. I was you, and I know. <laughs> I punished myself tremendously just because I wanted to eat. I just wanted to eat whatever I wanted to eat, and I was beautiful, and you couldn't tell me no different, and that was that. All that is true. However, <coughs> it wasn't making me happy. 
I don't care what I said in the past. I wasn't happy. I wasn't. Deep down, I wasn't happy. And I'm much happier when I'm exercising a couple times a week, when I'm eating good, healthy foods. Yeah, every now and then, I'm like, ah, man, I wish I could eat what they're eating. But then when I think about it, it's like, but you like fitting in them Levi's jeans, size 10, but you like walking up them hills, but you like crawling around with your grandbabies. You like sliding down the slides with them and running around and playing. You like swimming. You like doing all these things that you couldn't do when you were big because you ate those things. So sometimes we have to have choices. And unfortunately, me with my slow metabolism, I can't eat whatever I want to. And I've come to that realization over the last four years. And I want to help you guys come to yours too, whatever it may be. So use me as an example. Look at my before and after pictures. I promise you, I was you. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. I was depressed. I analyzed every outing. Every time my husband was like, we should go on this trip. I started analyzing all the bad stuff that was going to happen with it and how miserable I would be. Why do that? Why do that to yourself, your kids, your husband, your family? I don't know why I did it. Other than I was fat and depressed and unhealthy. And I knew I couldn't physically do it. So I just talked myself out of it. But now that I know that, I just want to help others. I want to help you guys see what's going on in your lives too. And maybe you can change even one or two things about it to make yourself feel better. I would hate to know that there's tons of people out there feeling the same way I felt. When I know you could feel how I feel now. I sound raspy, <laughs> but I feel great. And I want you guys to feel that way too. So that's my story about weight loss. This is a new year, 2021. We've had a crazy year, 2020. Good bye, good riddance, 2020. Do I think 2021 is going to be any better? I don't know, but I can control what I do. And I'm going to put good foods in my body. I'm going to think positive thoughts. And I'm going to treat others like I want to be treated. With love and care and an open heart and an open mind. So hopefully you guys can do that too. And I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for always watching my channel. And thank you guys to your loyals, the healthy sisterhood out there that comment and leave such kind comments. And thank you to my new fam that has subscribed, men and women. I appreciate you guys. So let's start fresh. Let's get into this. Let's get happier here and here. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Drink your water and cheers to a new year. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hit me up in the comments. Remember, my drawing, probably in a day or two. We're almost at 300. So hit me up in the comments. Love you guys. Mwah.